Meanwhile, the closer to home students from Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology created a satellite from scratch. The SpaceX 26 expected to launch tomorrow from Kennedy Space Center. Sharin Rajay talked with some of the students tonight, and she's standing by here with more. Hey, Sharin. Yeah, Angie, Jim, just remarkable the work that these students have done. It's a culmination of seven years of hard work for TJ Space. So many after school hours put into this. The students designed, built, coded this satellite called TJ Reverb by hand. I'm told CubeSats are a small satellite about the size of a tissue box. I spoke with a couple of those students tonight. Well, I kind of thought of the work as like an escape from school schoolwork, but also it's like applying what you learn in school to something that actually like uh, that actually matters. So this project is really, really hard. Uh, we have uh, ran into many issues, but we've ultimately um, overcame them. And what we're trying to uh, say is that, you know, uh, with enough time and enough research, with enough dedication, as high schoolers, you can do something really cool, like building a cube satellite. Very exciting. This project started in 2016. It was pretty ambitious. The goal was to build a CubeSat with a scientific mission to test if an Iridium radio would work in space. Now, the students won a grant from NASA to develop the TJ Reverb, and they did it all on their own. No kit or the help of a larger institution like a university. Here's the team's robotics lab director, who is clearly so proud of her students. And that's what these kids did, is they actually built the, the entire satellite. So they picked parts from like different vendors, such as Clyde Space, Iridium, Isis Space, and they figured out how to integrate all of those parts together with a, you know, commercial off-the-shelf Raspberry Pi Zero that they developed into their fight flight computer. So they did really hard things. Um, I think what's great and inspirational about this is, is that, you know, high school kids are capable of this kind of stuff if we just let them experiment and figure things out. Yeah, this is a very bright group of students. Tomorrow, the satellite will be on board the SpaceX launch from Kennedy Space Center. The satellite will then be handed over to astronauts on board the International Space Station who will plan to deploy it in January. So again, barring any weather delays, the satellite will take off tomorrow afternoon just before 4. They're all very excited. They're going to gather all together. They're going to live stream it and hope that it takes off and everything goes well. Angie.